Hey gents, it's not clickbait. I've lost 40 pounds, but it's been a journey and I wanna give you an update on uh, what's been going on. So November 2018, as I've talked about before, was the first time that I was able to uh, remove my excuse from saying if I had more time, I would actually work out. And it's not that I wasn't working out before. I had always been a runner since I was a swimmer. I always was very heavy into cardio, but I was always a little bit, uh, I always had a little bit of a tummy necessarily. Like I wasn't always happy with my body at that point. And so after I'd quit my job to go full-time on YouTube, I figured it was time to start doing an actual uh, weightlifting like routine and, and really start to focus on my strength. So November 2018, I start hitting the gym with the goal of focusing on my strength and starting to bulk up a little bit. In a matter of nine months, I went to 200 pounds. And then in January of 2020, I topped out at 205 with the intention of you know cutting some weight. And we'll talk about what happened. But naturally a part of this journey is what was I going to wear? As I started to get very serious about working out, what was going into my body, how was I going to utilize that energy in order to build strength? Naturally a part of that is how do you look and feel while doing the work? And that's when I really started to explore better workout clothes, not just based on you know this performance focus, but also how does it fit? How does it feel? And then as every part of the world started to blur together, how does it just wear in daily use? Because you know performance fabrics, as we've, as I've talked about on this channel for years, aren't just for performance. If you get a suit that has performance fabric and performance aspects of it, then that can just make for a better overall suit, which is why I love you know the performance dress shirts that are out there. And that's what's been exciting to watch firsthand on this channel is as performance fabrics have improved for other daily uses you know, workout clothing has become incredible. And there's absolutely been a rise in athleisure. You want stuff that looks and feels as good at the gym as it does in daily life, because we're also, it's like, if you're going to the gym, you might also go to the grocery store. You might also go run this errand. And so what can you wear at all times to really look and feel good? And Viore is one of those brands that's blending those aspects without a whole bunch of logos, and also with a focus on sustainability and the overall look and performance of the gear. So we'll talk about four of the things that I have here. I have the Banks shorts, I have the Strato Tech T, the Rip stop joggers and the Ponto crew. Now the key performance of these is just overall comfort, but then also there's anti-odor, there's UPF 30, and there's just a lot of movement built into it along with you know, the comfort that you're getting there. And the fit is very modern too. It's not too baggy, it's not too tight. And then hand in hand with that performance is really how easy to wash and maintain it is. So it holds its shape, it holds its color. And then something that Viore is really focused on is the recycled nature of the materials too. So they're combining performance around the sustainability, which is also how long the clothes last. And so if you have something that is quick drying, performance, anti-odor, you have all these aspects to it, but then you're also getting you know, premium materials that can last for a long time. That reduces the amount you have to turn it over. So all those aspects together is why Viore is a really good option if you're looking for something that can span the gym to everyday wear. Something that's great for workouts and work for home. Thank you Viore for sponsoring this video. Now back to my fitness journey, January of 2020, 205, the heaviest I have ever been, literally, because I had weighed about 165 pounds for 10 years. I went through my growth spurt where I went from being a you know, 5'5", and a 160 pound, you know, chubby little boy to a 6'4", skinny, uh, you know, 165 pound runner swimmer. And at this point, I was ready to cut. I had gained, I had bulked, you know, I, this was the strongest that I'd ever felt. I was, every week I was able to hit new personal records around my squat, my deadlift, and all those key movements. And so I started intermittent fasting. I, you know, I cut out a lot of foods and I just adjusted my workout regimen so that I could then, you know, lean into the muscle mass that I had gained and cut out, you know, some of the, the excess uh, fat that I had gained through there. And, you know, March, 2020, we all know what happened. Gyms closed. I picked up a bunch of kettlebells, which I absolutely fell in love with. And I've talked about that in, in videos in the past. I still the kettlebells, I still use them, uh, but very rapidly I was dropping weight. And I know when you are fasting, you can cut into, you know, your body eating through the muscle mass you gain. And I was really focused on continuing to sustain enough load to build muscle, uh, but without, you know, a lot of equipment that becomes very difficult. Then on top of that in 2020, it brought us a huge move. And then on top of the move, we had issues in the move. And then by January, 2020, I had basically wiped out all of the you know, gains essentially that I had built up over the last year. And I hit 162 pounds, which 
for me is a little bit unhealthy. I was extremely skinny. Now the upside of this is because of all the muscle mass that I had gained, this was the most ripped that I had ever looked. You know, I had abs for the first time, which I was never really able to maintain any level of, you know, six pack or anything. I had, you know, a little bit of biceps going on. And it was just this crazy juxtaposition between, you know, how I'd gone from, you know, I had a, I had a pretty bulky chest and my legs and my butt, everything. I gained a lot around my like waist and butt area. And so that shed very quickly. And then I still had the muscle from there. And so, so uh, in January of 2021, it was like, all right, you know, I have this space. How do I continue to, to build and grow again? And that's when I did join another gym and I started to just change my diet. I stopped fasting and I was starting to really just lean into the fact that, you know, I'm entering my thirties, my body's going to change. I can't look like, I can't look like that forever, but I can do my best to be as strong as I can because at the same time, you know, my son now is six and he's 75 pounds. He is a thick, He's a heavy boy. So for me, it becomes what is the reason that I'm doing, you know, all this exercise and working out. It's like to maintain health and to stay as young as I can for as long as I can. And on top of that, I want to be able to hold my children for as long as I can. So, you know, my son gets to 100 pounds. I want to be able to pick him up or even, you know, my two year old. I want to be as strong as I can and as healthy as I can. And so it's all about prioritizing those goals. So as of now, November 2020, I'm sitting around 180 pounds, which is a very healthy weight for me. I would like to, you know, add on a little bit more strength. I'm not nearly where I was with my personal records around my deadlift and my squat. And so if I can at least get back to maintain those levels. I think part of it too is just about having that goal, right? For a long time, I wanted to be able to run a 5K under 20 minutes and I trained towards that a whole lot. And so now for me, it's really setting and, and maintaining my strength around some of the key movements to make sure that I can be as healthy and as strong as I can for as long as I can. I did use the excuse for a very long time of if I had more time, I would do this workout. And you know, what I've learned over the past couple of years is really, you know, you make time for the things that you want to put a time and attention into. And so for me, that has meant basically cutting out video games, cutting out television, and really redefining what it means for me to relax and find enjoyment in order to put time and attention into things that I prioritize. Uh, you know, I, I lost my dad very young. I was 24, he was 47. And I truly think, and I, you know, I know that if he would have focused on fitness, he, he could still be here. And I did my best while he was alive. But for me, uh, it's really saying, you know, I'm a young dad. I have the genes that could mean a lot of bad things if I don't fight against it. So how do I spend every day making sure that I can be here for my family as long as possible? And I think workout, working out, fitness, just overall health is so important and key to that, which is why I eat very clean, as clean as I can. And I also do, I put in the time to work out and make sure my body is as physically strong and healthy as it possibly can be. And setting up those habits, I'm 30 now, and you know, I think a lot of you have aged with me uh, over the time that I've done this channel and coming up on seven years, which is insane. And, um, you know, I think if you, maybe if, maybe this is your sign, if you haven't uh, started alongside with me, grab some gear, let's get out there and work out. And if you want more, you know, videos like this around just my overall health, you know, I could do a whole video on uh, what's gone, gone on for me mentally in the last year. Uh, I'm happy to talk about it, happy to be open to maybe help inspire uh, and help help some of you gents out there as always. That's my goal. So if you have any questions, happy to talk about that. Thank you, Viore, for uh, sponsoring the video and making sure that I, you know, get this message and get this out uh, and talk about their gear, which, you know, I've had for a couple of years and really like as well. If you have any questions, I'll be down in the comments as always. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.